Alright, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with a, another mod showcase, which is the... This is a pretty big mouthful, but it's the Quantum Universe Entangled Energy Flooring Mod, or the Quantum Power Flooring Collector Mod. I think the mod maker kind of changed his mind halfway through making it. I don't know. It seems to be two different names. Anyways, this is a really awesome but incredibly broken mod, and it's something that I spoke about in my last video about power generation that I'd really like to see flooring similar to this where it's like a solar panel on the floor that people could walk over now it could be a solar panel or it could be one of those panels that when you push down on them it generates electricity i built one of them in high school for my science class actually the idea that i'm talking about when you step down on a plate it turns a little turbine generates a bit of electricity from using a magnet to break a magnetic field now this mod is kind of different it's the only one that i could find because i was kind of looking for something like it and it's a quantum floor which just generates power. So I'll show you now one by itself. We can take that over there. Let me get rid of this one. And you can see that it generates a ridiculous 200 watts per panel, which is just insane. And it can store 50 watts by itself. So if I show you this, it's 25 steel on one component to build for 200 watts. Now, that seems kind of okay, because if you take this, it's three components. How much steel was this? 100? 100 steel, three components to make a solar generator, which generates 1,700. So, to get this, you effectively need nine of these. Get nine. Nine of them is about equal to 1,600. It's, it's close enough. It should be 1,800. I messed up my calculations. All right, there we go. Nine of them. So nine of them for nine components and what nine two hundred two hundred and twenty five steel you can get one solar generator. But that doesn't take into account the fact that you can walk on these panels at a perfectly normal speed and I'll show you how now. So if they seem broken, it's because they are. First of all they walk they work all the time, in the daytime included. So Oh sorry, in the nighttime included. <laughs> They can work all the time. It's it's ridiculous. And you'll see the speed now. So let's put him over there. See his speed. You can see his speed will not decrease when it's over it. Still walking at 100%. Where is it? 4.37 on top. 4.37. There we go. So it doesn't change whatsoever. It doesn't change the walking speed. Well, if you walk over a solar generator, I think it pretty much halves it. You can't even get them to walk over it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, let's try to get him to walk over it by just trapping him. So he has to kind of... You can see the speed that it slows him down to. It's pretty insane. Put him back. Look at the normal speed. Slow down. It's pretty much almost like a quarter of the normal speed that you walk. So the amount that it restricts you by is huge. This is pretty much a floor paneling. You can't build on top of it though. But in every other way, it is just a floor paneling. So I can put it right towards the door. And right towards this door. Okay, you can't put power conduits on top of it. But it has a power conduit built into it. So that doesn't matter. I could literally destroy this. And replace it with one of the quantum floors. And there we go. See the power connector just connect to it. No worries at all. And it would work. How much did that give us? So if we take if we take like a pathway, a huge pathway. Now that's 45 components, 1125 steel. How much does this give? Damn it, potatoes. 9000 watts. Okay, so we take a geothermal generator, which is eight components. One tenth of that, and it gives you about one third of the power. But geothermal takes research, this doesn't take any research, and you can walk on top of it. You can't walk on top of a geothermal generator at all. I don't know, that it feels pretty broken. I feel like this is just like the. <laughs> it's one of the power generations that just has no drawback whatsoever. You can put it anywhere in your base, and it works perfectly fine. Seems kind of ridiculous, I think. I don't know, I just, I just think that's kind of broken. But as I've said in a lot of my videos recently, 
not every mod maker is trying to make sure that their mod is completely balanced in every single way. Some of them just want to make a cool mod. Like Glitter Tech, for example, I just started using it again the other day in my playthrough. And I realized how easy Glitter Tech makes the game. Seriously, it makes it so ridiculously easy. But it's a fun mod, so who cares if it's balanced or not? Would I add this to the base game? No. I think if I were to add this to the base game, I would need, I would need first of all, it needs to be researched. It needs to be some kind of heavy amount of research. And if I added it to the game, I'd probably reduce it from 200 watts down to like 10, maybe. Maybe 10. I don't know. I, I think I would probably put it down to 10. Right now, it just feels too broken. Way too broken. Like, I have this little base here. I mean, it's a pretty big base, actually. But I could just floor this entire part with quantum flooring. <sighs> Anyways, it's a really cool idea. I really want to see some kind of solar panel solar panel flooring something else to do with flooring that that isn't just a recolor or a different amount of beauty like i want some utility to it you know take a look at this quickly yeah so gold paneling gives you four times i mean twice as much as the red as the red carpet that's just looks i i would love some like solar panel flooring uh, which slows you down a bit. All that other mod that I... Or not mod, but the idea that I was talking about when you step on it and turns a little turbine by breaking the magnetic field. Maybe it generates electricity, either turning a turbine or breaking a magnetic field. Um, I would love to see something like that, and it just slows you down by like 10%. Anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, I'm gonna... I'm recording this video at 4K, so I want to see how it goes. If the quality, if you can run a 4K video, tell me what you think. I'm not really sure if I like 4K because it makes the rendering take four times as long. But yeah, anyway, just tell me what you think. And I hope you guys have an amazing day as usual. Bye-bye.